There are two requirements in becoming a guinea pig, stupidity and fearlessness. As we all know, Dan is lacking in neither, except for one key area, his fear of heights and flying. So what's the best way to help Dan? We're going to strap him to this beautiful biplane and take him for a ride. Dan's going flying! La 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 la! La 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 la! In moments of crisis, some people turn to God, others to their parents, Dan calls his girlfriend. Hiya! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love you, babe. Oh, fear is kicking in, man. Yeah, what's he got? <laughs> it's, I hate heights so much. About one in five people have a fear of flying and logic is no cure. We all know that flying is safer than driving a car. 29 times safer, in fact. In a world of logic, that should mean that 29 times more people would be afraid to get into a car than on a plane. Unfortunately, numbers and figures don't cure anxiety disorders. Hopefully, this will. By the time he's on the plane, Dan's heart rate is 174 beats per minute. This is the equivalent of doing a hard, fast run. And he's crying. Scared pig! Oh, I'd be so oh scared God. by now, let alone scared of heights. <laughs> if he enjoyed it. Oh my god! It doesn't seem like I'm high at all! I'm walking in the air! Even though Dan is currently 1,200 feet in the air, his heart rate has dropped to 130. And he genuinely looks like he's enjoying himself. Well done, Dan. So all you need to cure a fear of heights is a biplane and a complete lack of common sense. <laughs>